Nick here, Rabbit Test Customs. Today we're having a look at another one of our molds. Uh, today we've got a Nissan Patrol mold, which is a 124 scale crawler body, which is considerably larger than what we've been doing. If we could compare this to this is one of our other molds we've done, which is one of our crawler molds. So from the side, you can clearly see there's a big difference in the size. Um, we ended up picking up some thicker plastic for this because obviously it's due to the size being a lot bigger. So we've gone from 0.5mm PETG to 075 uh, we also picked up some 1mm stuff as well, but we sort of found that 0.75 is about the right medium between flex and being too strong. So, uh, as you can see here, we've got a different, you see these little tiny uh, mold, well, not mold holes, um, they're just holes there for some of the accessories we've designed for this. Um, so this one's actually got roof rack which fits into those holes, so they're just there basically. So once it's molded, you know where the holes are and you can just center up the holes, punch through the body reamer and um, we've also got snorkel for the side uh, bull bar for the front and also we've also got some, even done some wing mirrors which go onto those side holes there so these holes are only sort of one mil so once they pull in they're very hard to see but they are there um, but it also to a point that if you didn't want to run all of the accessories, you don't need to. By the time you paint it, you will not see it. So let's get a sheet put in and we'll form one up and see what it comes out like. So as always, we pull protective coating off. Protective coating, you leave it on one side to the top, which gives you an um, overspray mask as well. Take your frame, clip it out. Make sure these have got a bit of tension on them. Go through. G. Now with this you don't can't get your exact 0.75 mil, so I've been testing it on just 0.7. Could get a 0.8 as well. Probably would be much the same. So no vacuum tuning on this at all. Hit the button and put it to the top and let it heat up. Just about up to temp as always. We put our mold in the last second because this is only a PLA mold. Otherwise it gets too warm underneath the heat. frame off. Now they do an internal tool for actually popping this plastic out. I've just misplaced it so I'm using a little screwdriver just to release the pressure, get the mold out. Right, so this has formed up, it's formed up quite nice. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky to get out because we've got a little bit of a undercut in under here, um, but it's not too bad. So I'll just quickly pop this out off camera. No idea if I'm trying to force this on camera. And there's our finished mold. So it's come out quite nice. Um, obviously you still can see a little bit of ley lines you know, through the windows, obviously a bit more smoothing will re reduce all of that. But it's formed up very nicely. As you can see, we've got a couple of strategically placed holes just in different spots to help pull, pull it in, such as the wheel wells where you're getting it cut out anyway. Um, just one in the front bumper because we're having issues capturing the details right on the front. Um, but overall, it's come out very nice. Um, still see a little couple of lines on the roof which you know over time we'll keep tanning this as we keep pulling the molds and it'll smooth up every time you use the mold it does sort of get a little bit glossy on the top because um, obviously it somewhat melts the surface because it is PLA which is not ideally handled for this we do have some ABS uh, but we yet to try the ABS yet because we're still getting good results with PLA but ABS is definitely on the cards or ASA or something a little bit more heat resistant so if you guys do want to pick these bodies up, or you want to pick up one of the machines, the links are in the description below. Uh, these are great machines. Uh, 
yes, they're not cheap, but they will pay for themselves in the long run. Where else can you, you know, manufacture your own bodies? Especially if you've got a printer, you can do it all in-house. So until the next video, have a good one.